Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about perimeter. We're going to be talking about what perimeter is and when you would measure perimeter. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Perimeter is the distance around a two-dimensional figure. You should already have these notes. They're from, I think, February 28th. If you don't, you can go ahead and grab your math notebook and put them in again. Perimeter is the distance around a two-dimensional figure. When to find perimeter? You would find perimeter when you are building a fence around your backyard or your front yard or any yard. When you are adding a border to a pillow or measuring the distance that you walk around a field. Those are some of the times when you would find perimeter. So if you're talking about word problems, when they're talking about building a fence or adding a border or go walking around something. Remember when we did this in class, I had you walk around the room? Perimeter. All right, here's some more. When you are adding a frame to a picture or when you are hanging Christmas lights on your roof. You want to go around the border of your uh, house. You wouldn't go cover your whole house with lights because that would look crazy and cost a lot in electricity. Okay, here's the tools you're going to use to measure perimeter. You can use a tape measure, you can use a yardstick, you can use a ruler. Today, we're going to be measuring perimeter and we're going to be using different things, non-traditional items so it would and non-standard items. So these are things that you might have in your house. You're definitely going to have some of these things. Um, and that way you don't even have to use a ruler to measure the perimeter today. So you're going to be using your feet, your hands, or we're going to be using snacks to measure the distance around other objects. Um, when you are measuring the perimeter, you want to make sure that you're taking one right after the other. And I'm going to give you some more instructions on that before I have you uh, go ahead and do your explore. I'm going to show you some examples of what I'm talking about and what I'm looking for. Okay, so I told you you're going to be measuring the perimeter of some items today using things that you have in your house. One of the things I'm going to ask you to use to measure is your feet. Now, I am not going to get my feet up here on my table. I made some little feet. So when you are measuring, one thing you need to remember is to use, keep your heel, go heel to toe, heel to toe. And you're going to, you might want to put a little something where you start so that you know this is where I started. Okay, so that's one, two. See how it's heel to toe? One, two, and then you step here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The perimeter around this geode is about eleven of these feet. Now if I ask you to use your hands to measure, just the same thing. You have your hand down, put your next hand this way. Put your other hand. One, two, three, four, all the way around whatever it is you're measuring. Make sure you remember where your starting point is and your end point is. The other thing I'm going to ask you to measure with is your favorite snack. Now, I don't have my favorite snack here at the house. There's no Twix. There's no pink Starbursts. Uh, I don't think I have any candy bars here at all. However, I have some Fruit Loops and I kind of like those too. So to use Fruit Loops to measure around, I'm going to remember that I'm starting in the bottom left hand corner and I'm just going to get two of them so that I, it'll be easier. Now, you could also, if you wanted to, if you have plenty, I could have just gotten all the Fruit Loops, put them all the way around, and then counted them. And that would work just fine. If you only have one or two of your favorite snack left because you've been snacking on them, you can use them this way, okay? So one, two, three, four, 
five, it doesn't have to be exact. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now look, my snacks aren't exactly the same size. That's okay, this is non-standard, so it's gonna be a little bit different. So when I was writing this down, I would write down 20 Fruit Loops is my perimeter of this post-it note. Make sure when you're doing your explore that you write down what you um, measure so that when you go back to do your form, you know exactly what your answers need to be. Have fun with this today, guys. And tomorrow we're going to be working on some more perimeter. We'll be talking about the formula to solve with the perimeter. Today, I just want you to remember what perimeter is all the way around. Remember rim in the middle of the word. We always boxed it in, R-I-M, because we're going around the rim of things. Measure around the rim of things today. Have fun. Get your family involved. Let them measure some things, too. Maybe you can see what uh, the perimeter is in your favorite snack and their favorite snack. You guys have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.